Now on the supernatural series, mysteries are unfolding and secrets are being shared. Oh, yeah. Take a look. At the, uh, the end of our senior year, there was a, an accident. Three of our friends drowned. Oh my God. Where? In the sea cave. It's about a half mile north of here. We oh. head off as well. Key, please welcome actor Sherry Song. Thanks Hi. for being here. What's up? for having me. I'm so comfortable. I hope you don't I mind. Know. Yes. I want to get comfortable. Yes. I want to get comfortable. Okay. <laughs> so tell us what in the world was going on in that clip there. That was intense. It's just a really, you know, Ellie Whedon, I play on the show, and she's just got so many secrets, so many burdens, but she really can't share them. But she also at the same time wants to make a connection with um, uh, Nina Locke, who mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. played by Darby Stanchfield on the show. Um, so I'm just like weighing this kind of walking this line of like, do I share? Do I not? I want to unburden myself, but I can't. It's drama. Okay, mm -hmm. I watched intense. the trailer for this. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why do they have <laughs> keyholes in their necks? Yeah. Um, this is based off of a graphic novel by Joe Hill, who happens to be the son of Stephen King. What so pedigree. A little, right, mm -hmm. so there's a little bit of element of uh, suspense and thriller here. Yes, it's an unbelievable combination. The showrunners, Meredith Averill and Carlton Cuse, who have a huge, amazing, epic television uh, success record. And then Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez, who are these horror masters coming together to make this show. And it's just, it's magic. You it's had me at horror. <laughs> yeah. What's going on in the house? Yeah, I mean, I know you don't want to give any spoilers out, but give us something. Yeah, I mean, it's a house of secrets. You know, these, these, this family moves back, and they're, uh, this, this, each key in the house that they find opens another dimension, another door, another something, and they're just finding out one by one how they work. And it's just so fun to discover it through these characters' eyes. And, you know, some of them are, uh, some of them are fun, some of them are... God, please don't open that door. <laughs> you know, it's just a, it's a wild, wild ride. Well, we are finding out a lot about you on Instagram. Uh -oh. uh, you posted this photo that we're going to put up, and I got to ask you, <laughs> how in the world were you able to do that? <laughs> you know, that's just a function of 14-hour days on set when you just it's a good core. you need to plank. You know, you just need to. <laughs> it's the reverse plank. Uh, yeah, but just the house was so fun. I was whenever I had downtime on the set, I would just roam around the house and just take crazy pictures and I had a feeling that the show was going to be an amazing huge hit for Netflix and I was like let me just capture as much of this crazy yeah. amazing house as possible. Yeah I mean it's getting a whole lot of buzz. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Instagram you know it's going to be like negative two degrees here this weekend in New York City and you run a hot chocolate stand apparently. <laughs> well you Smart. know it was in LA and it was 60 degrees so it was cold. It was These really are frigid. Oh look how gorgeous. It's Michael and John yeah so you know they they kids I don't know they they want toys and stuff which is so strange so I'm like you guys, if you want toys, we're going to start earning our cash. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm teaching them young. I'm like, let's get out there. Let's be enterprising. And so they are on it. They're like, hot See? chocolate, 50 cents. There you go. I'm with you. My, my, my kids are one and four. Mm -hmm. They love toys too, right? What kid doesn't? So I need to put them out there on Friday when it's like super cold. Yeah. Yes, do. <laughs> Gotcha. But she will. Work, right? I the, remember lemonade stands. I mean, key, I used to have lemonade stands. The key, though, is 50 cents because no one really carries change anymore. So, right. like, oh, just so take this dollar. dollar. Take this $10. Right. Right. That's the, smart. You have, to get, right the, right the, right you have to get the iPad <laughs> with, like, the little square thing. I know. Like, oh, 50 cents. Sure, let me just swipe the card. <laughs> so, you're uh, uh, New York. You, you're, you spend your time L.A. and New York. Mm -hmm. So, what, what is it? Which do you like better? Well, they each they're apples the right and oranges. Answer. They're, the right they're apples and oranges. Um, I love the space and the weather, you know, that LA has. Right. It's great for the kids running around. But I just miss New York. I miss going to dinner with my friends and then walking back home and right. like, you know, having that energy, that aliveness, the culture everywhere you turn. I miss it so much. Mm -hmm. So I cut every drop of a hat. I'm out here. Someone's like, I need someone to dog sit for me. I don't know. I'll, I'm flying out. I'll come out. <laughs> I just, I just love it here so much. Yeah. And there's something to be said about raising kids in the city, right? They just get a, just get a different type yeah. of uh, learning experience. Do they recognize you guys as actors? Because you and your husband are actors. Yeah, they, they don't really get it quite mm -hmm. yet. You know, I, I kind of show them some, some things sometimes on, on TV and. They just kind of get this, like, I, what are you doing uh, on the TV, Mom? And can you put, you know, Paw Patrol back on? And yeah, like, you're okay, messing up my, my program, they're, Mom. Yeah, they're not, uh, they don't, they're not there yet. Uh, a lot of people knew you from this incredible series, which was The Fosters. Mm. So uh, do you miss the series? Oh, my gosh, every day. 
Yeah. It was like. I mean, that was such an amazing. Just give everybody the 30 second spiel about what the Fosters was because it really yeah. raised a whole lot of awareness. Yeah, it was um, two women uh, married, raising foster, adopted, and biological children. Um, just a multicultural, you know, group family that's just not portrayed every day. And, yeah. But we portrayed it just with heart and with grounded reality, which mm -hmm. it is. And it was kind of groundbreaking in that, that it wasn't like a very special episode yeah. of. It's yeah. just life, and you know we had the best time, and I, did, I miss it every day. If yeah. you haven't seen that, that highly recommend watching that. But you could also check her out now in the new series yeah. on Netflix, Lock and Key, Key, streaming right now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank in. you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome back. Comfort on the couch anytime <laughs> yeah, you want to come here. We want to know more about that lock. Oh, I know. Yes.